Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, case number 41. We have a fantastic case today. We have a coronal CT image on the left of the left thigh, and then we have a corresponding axial CT image through the left femur, the left thigh as well. And the question that I have for all of you guys is, what's the most likely diagnosis? Is this a seroma, hematoma, an abscess, or an amputation neuroma? What's the most likely diagnosis? And if we take a look at, come back to the images, notice that first of all, they've had a above the knee amputation. We see an osteotomy involving the distal femoral shaft here. And that's important. That history is extremely important in coming to the correct diagnosis here. And on the CT image, just posterior to the femur, we have this fusiform area of low density that lies sort of posterior to the femur. And this is in the location of the neurovascular bundle, particularly the region of the sciatic nerve, which is very important in this case. Of course, we also have you know diffuse atrophy of the musculature here. We have some skin thickening and subcutaneous edema. But really, the important thing is, is that we have this fusiform thickening in the region of you know where we expect the sciatic nerve to be in a patient that's had an amputation. So, of course, the most likely diagnosis here would be an amputation neuroma. Um, because of the history that we provided or that you should have inferred and deciphered based on the patient that had an amputation. So this is an amputation neuroma. This is something that we expect to occur after you've you know, amputated or transected a nerve. It's sort of non-neoplastic proliferation of the nerve after an injury that's occurred. And this is a normal response of the body. So when you amputate, you transect the nerve, it regenerates or it starts to have non-neoplastic proliferation to try to regrow that uh, those cells. So this occurs typically after trauma or an amputation. Of course, the lower extremity is more common than the upper extremity, as in the index case that I showed you. This usually occurs months after surgery. So typically one month to even about 12 months after the surgery or after the inciting event has occurred. And this often presents, it can be, you know, sort of, uh, you know, present with no symptoms at all, but often it presents with a firm palpable mass, sometimes with pain, uh, but it can present with no symptoms at all whatsoever. And the important and the most important thing to understand is that there's no risk of malignant transformation. So this is not gonna become a malignant nerve sheet tumor. This is not gonna have any risk of malignancy or anything that, that can pretty much or potentially harm a patient in the long run, okay? Now on imaging, this is usually contiguous with a nerve. It usually is contiguous with the sciatic nerve or with any nerve that you're transecting. So you just get sort of fusiform, bulbous, you know, mass-like thickening that presents with low density on CT, typically may look or may appear, you know, as uh, fluid Hounsfield units, you know, low dense, central low density within it, but typically fusiform and contiguous with where you'd expect the nerve to occur. The enhancement can often be variable you know, from, you know, no enhancement at all to, you know, some heterogeneous enhancement within that amputation neuroma. So always look for an amputation neuroma in a patient that's had an amputation, uh, particularly if it's in the region or the location of the actual nerve. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, tune in next week for another high-yield MSK unknown case.